हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला टुडे वील डिस्कस अ टॉपिक ऑन द सब्जेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन मैकेट्रॉनिक्स द नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इज मॉडलिंग ऑफ मैकेट्रॉनिक्स सिस्टम सो द इंट्रोडक्शन इज वट इज सिस्टम मॉडलिंग ओके सो यू नो देर आर various different complex systems are available and if you want to control those complex systems you need to understand those complex systems okay so to understand and control these complex systems one must obtain quantitative mathematical models quantitative mathematical models so we have to obtain first of all mathematical models of these systems and we have to analyze the relationship between the system variables okay so every system has some variables like force displacement heat transfer heat input temperature so these are all system variables and we need to analyze the relationship between all these variables okay so this is called as analysis of the system variables and then we have to form mathematical models okay and uh, many systems are dynamic in conditions okay so their nature is dynamic so we have to find out differential equations of such a equations with the help of physical laws of the processes so because the systems under considerations are dynamic in nature the descriptive equations are usually differential equations by utilizing the physical laws of the process okay so we have to find out differential equations if systems are in dynamic in nature that is varying with respect to time so if we want to find out the solution of such a equations such a differential equations if we want to solve so what we can do we can use laplace transform okay the laplace transform can be used to obtain a solution describe the describing the operation of the system so here we have to use laplace transform so what it's written here in practice the complexity of the systems and our ignorance of all the relevant factors necessitate introduction of assumptions concerning the system operation so while solving such a complex systems and we have to ignore some relevant factors by using some assumptions okay while solving complex systems we need to do some assumptions then we can solve the system properly okay so this is system modeling so what is written here why transfer function is is to be used okay so because it is easier better to assess some things using classical techniques so usually what happens it is easier and better to go with classical techniques such as gain margin and phase margin so these are concepts which are used to find out the system stability and many things so we'll discuss this gain and phase margin in our next videos okay so how to determine transfer function this is important how to determine transfer function so what is first step we go for differential equation we derive one differential equation then we assume initial conditions are zero then we take laplace transform of output then we take laplace transform of input and then ratio of laplace transform of output divided by laplace transform of input is called as transfer function okay so very simple thing is that we have to first of all derive governing differential equation of particular system then we have to assume initial conditions at zero then we have to take laplace transform of output then the laplace transform of input and then the ratio is nothing but transfer function okay <coughs> so now let us take example of mechanical system so this system consist of spring mass damper system okay so here you can check so here this green color part is our mass to that <coughs> to that mass here spring is attached okay and the stiffness of spring is k and here damper is attached okay so damping coefficient is d here and here force is applied to this mass okay 
so after application of force there is some displacement that is here it is shown y so y is displacement over here so what is equation of motion for this system okay so what is equation of motion so equation of motion is written here m into y double dot plus d into y dot plus k into y is equal to f this is the governing equation for this system so you can check that when you apply force okay at the time this mars have moment of inertia in opposite direction that is m into y double dot okay so when you apply force f what happens spring gets compressed so spring force acts in opposite direction that is k into y okay and at the same time damper d also provides some equation in opposite direction that is d into y dot okay so if you all add all these forces m into y double dot plus k into y plus d into y dot is equal to f then you will get this equation okay so this is our equation m into y double dot plus d into y dot plus k y is equal to f so let us assume initial conditions at zero and take laplace transform both sides so we get equations something like this m into s square y of s plus d into s y of s plus k into y of s is equal to f of s okay so this is our laplace transform equation so laplace transform of y double dot is nothing but what is laplace transform of y double dot that is s square into y of s okay laplace transform of y dot is s into y of s okay like this formula is there if there is double derivative is there you have to multiply by s square if there is single derivative is there you have to multiply by s so this is the laplace transform formula now here collect the terms of y of s into one side and collect terms on opposite side f of s therefore ratio of output upon input is transfer function and therefore y of s upon f of s so here y is output and f is input as you know that when you apply force you will get some displacement so that's why output is here y and input is f so y of s divided by f of s is equal to 1 upon ms square ds plus k so this is our required transfer function for this mechanical system okay <coughs> 1 upon ms square plus ds plus k now next we can model thermal system also so here what is shown here a closed insulated vessel filled with liquid so there is one vessel is there which is insulated one and it is filled with liquid and it contains an electrical heater immersed in liquid so there is one electrical heater is provided at center which is immersed in liquid heating element is contained within metal jacket that has thermal resistance of rhl so whatever heating element is there that is placed in one jacket metal jacket and its resistance is rhl thermal resistance of vessel and its insulation is rla okay so thermal resistance of vessel is rla heater has thermal capacitance of ch and liquid has thermal capacitance of cl so thermal capacitance are also provided heater temperature is th and that is of liquid is tl so temperature are also provided here th and tl and liquid uh, temperature is assumed to be uniform due to mixer okay mixer is provided on bottom side and rate at which energy is supplied to the heating element is qi so qi is the energy supplied to the heating element okay so that heater heats and it increases temperature <coughs> so i have understood this system so again i will tell you so this is one closed vessel is there okay inside that heater is provided within one jacket metal jacket okay so resistances are here resistance of this heater is rhl and resistance of this insulating material is r l a okay and thermal capacitance of both the liquid are ch and cl and temperature is th and tl so we have to find out here transfer function so if you solve such a systems with the help of heat transfer formulas you will get some equation something like this so th dot is equal to 1 upon ch rhl into bracket tl minus th plus 1 upon ch qi so like this you will get equation also you will get tl dot is equal to 1 upon cl th minus tl upon rhl minus tl 
upon RLA. So this is these are the two equations you will obtain after solving heat transfer formulas. So what you have to do here, you have to take again Laplace equation of equation number one and determine equation for TH of S. Okay. And similarly, you have to take Laplace transform of equation two, determine the equation for TL of S and substitute the equation for TH of S in it. And then you have to take transfer function ratio TL upon S upon QI upon S. So in this case, what happens? What is input for the system? It is heat supplied to the heater that is QI upon S. And what is the output? That is temperature of liquid, which is increasing. So the ratio of output upon input is nothing but transfer function. So which is written here. Okay. So output is TL and input is QI. So ratio of both gives us transfer function. <coughs> Next we will study hydraulic system. So here in this system we can see that there is one tank is provided which contains some fluid and this is input uh, and from this pipe input fluid is coming whose flow rate is QI okay and output is going through this pipe which whose flow rate is Q0 and here some valve is provided its resistance is R the height of tank is small h and width of tank is capital H okay so like this system is provided over here so now in this case you have to find out the transfer function of this system so here some uh, laws are used that is converse conservation of mass is equal to conservation of volume for incompressible fluid so conservation of mass is equal to conservation of volume so conservation of mass is nothing but qi minus q0 that is difference of flow rate that is nothing but conservation of mass which is equal to conservation of volume that is a into dh upon dt this is the volume of the tank so here in this equation qi and q0 are flow rate of the input and output respectively and a is cross sectional area for the tank and h is height of the liquid in the tank okay so like this this is the governing equation for this system now if we want to find out exit flow rate so this is formula q0 is equal to gh upon r so here r r is nothing but resistance of the flow because there is valve is provided so that wall can provide resistance to the flow that's why output flow rate can be assumed as q0 is equal to gh upon r now substituting this q0 in equation number one that is our governing equation we will get something like this that is q0 is equal to h dot plus g upon a r h is equal to 1 upon a q i okay so h dot is nothing but dh upon dt so this is approximated as h dot plus g h upon a r is equal to 1 upon a q i so a is divided here throughout everywhere okay that's why we get we got such an equation okay so this is our equation h dot plus g upon a r into h is equal to 1 upon a q i now here we can assume all initial conditions to be zero and taking laplace transform we get yes into h of s i already told you if single derivative is there then you have to multiply by yes only so yes into h of s plus g a r these are con constants that that's why they are as it is multiplied by h of s is equal to 1 upon a into q i upon s okay so like this you will get laplace transform and you have to find out now transfer function so it is transfer function output upon input so here output is h of s and input is q i upon s okay so that's why our final transfer function is r bar divided by a r bar into s plus g okay so output upon input is transfer function input is q i input flow rate okay so like this you will get transfer function for the hydraulic system so thank you so much all of you